heck is that? Wonders, oh wonders of the world. So many wonders to behold. So many questions in my mind. So many questions, so little time. Answers so so easily come. Unless you know to ask someone who is a master of the trade. Ask them how clouds get their shape. Welcome to What the Heck is That with David Shaventura. Hi everyone, welcome back. We have part two of my interview with Randy. Don't forget to go back and watch the first half if you have not yet. Can you tell me what it's like when you give your art to others? Well, I make art for others and I sell art. When I make art for others, it's somebody that I love most likely. And I just find it's a nice way to let them know how much I love them by creating something that I think they will like. I understand that I feel that way when I share my music. Ah, okay. What is your favorite type of art to create? Oh, you're going to make me pick, are you? Well, I guess it's a three-way tie between silk painting, mosaics, and fused glass. But one of the, my favorite things art-wise to do is to share what I know with others. So when family and friends come visit me, you know I live way far away from where you live, I have to get them in the studio and have them create things. Even though they don't see themselves as artists, they, they need to play with their, their auntie or their friend. Um, and I all, now I have a kids art class once a week. And at the beginning of COVID, I had them draw a picture on fabric. And later, I made that into a mask. So they look quite pretty in class with their own creation on their face. What I find is um, it's a challenge for me to work with people because not everybody is comfortable with art. I know you are. I know I am. Uh, but sometimes there's a critic inside of us that says I'm not good enough or I don't know how to do that. And I consider that my challenge. Uh, I find that mag is cutting out magazine pictures are a nice way to express what's going on inside or do a certain theme without having to get tangled up in the skill level. I like to quiet their inner critic. I could have guessed that, Randy, I have done some of those with you activity. Oh, you have, you have. I had forgotten about that until I saw it in the background, David. Tell us about the healing effect that art can have on a person. Oh, wow. Well, okay, I know that there's a whole bunch of museums in the world, and I know that people look at art for inspiration, and I imagine they get a feeling of healing also, but I can't really talk about that. Uh, what I like to do, um, well, twofold, hold on. Um, one of the things I like to do is make personal um, gifts or healing scarves to others. So I trace, I trace their hand on silk and I paint it um, like a, a friend of mine's husband had cancer. So we took his uh, family members tracings, I, we put it on a scarf and then I painted it and it was what he wore when he was getting chemo. So he knew he was being supported by the people who loved him the most. But his hand was also on there because I believe 
he can help heal himself. Um, art media has different, it evokes different emotions. Like I said, magazine pictures kind of sidestep the skill level. Just like uh, working with clay, and you probably experience this, um, clay uses, you know, heavy motor, um, it's gushy, it helps with energy and anger. Um, the kind of art that's healing is focused on the process, not as the finished product, even though that's usually beautiful. Right. It's about the process, not the final product. Yes, exactly. Do you put love into all the art you make? Well, I do when it's a gift to others. Um, I do make art to sell, and I don't want to put too much love in it, because then I won't want to let it go. Uh, I do put my creativity in art, and I, I don't know, I, I'd say yes, I do. I am sure your art means more to people than you know. Oh, thank you for saying that. Wendy, I have a feeling of yours will have a different appreciation for art after watching this. I really, I will think about art differently to joining this pandemic. We need all the healing we can get. Thank you for being here today and sharing all your art. Thank you, David. It's been an honor to be here. Hey, Randy, would you like to give us a look at the art studio where you make all the art happen? Yes, I thought you'd never ask. Okay. I am going to start what I'm inspired by, okay? I gotta, let's see, I gotta turn this around. I live across the street from the ocean. I listen to the birds and the seals. And now we're gonna walk into my studio. Okay. So this used to be the old garage that I got to create my studio. I have a small store that I have some art available. And now you're gonna see a lot of art materials. It's taken years for me to get organized. Let me just show you this. I took some pieces out of my home to show you. The first circle is fused glass. The second circle is a lazy Susan. And that is a lot of fun to make. In the back of the studio, I have a picture of myself. It brings a child self out in me mosaic a sink these there's mosaic the sun and the moon and above you will see some 15 inch squares of mini art quilts and an art quilt can bring in any medium it could bring in buttons you can paint it you use cloth and you might recognize this this is the view from my house sitting in the living room. And this is inspired by Gustav Klimt. This was a self-portrait with French fry hair. And look at, I got to use old jewelry. There's a reason I don't throw anything away. I did some writing on silk as fabric on this. And 
you can imagine what that is. Halloween. There is um, silk that I do. Feels better to put on than just to lay it out like that. And then I like to take photos of things I've done or my kids' art creations. More storage on mosaics. One of my favorite silk painting hangings. And even though I don't celebrate Christmas, I really have a lot of fun making Christmas ornaments out of fused glass. And as you can tell, I like happy skulls. This, oh, here's a, a window outside in, uh, facing south. And all these bins have glass in it. And this glass is only compatible with each other. What I have here, this is my small kiln where I put the glass in and it melts for about 12 to 14 hours. And now we are, we're back to the beginning. Wow, what an amazing studios. I love seeing all the creativities you bring to your work. Thank you, David. I certainly hope you get a chance to come visit me. You can do art with me. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. What the heck is that? Wonders, oh wonders of the world. So many wonders to behold. So many questions in my mind. So many questions, so little time. Answers so so easily come. Unless you know to ask someone who is a master of the trade. Ask them how clouds get their shape. Welcome to What the Heck is That with David Shiventura.